Howard and I first crossed paths at uh, WRNW in Briarcliff Manor. It was my first job. I'm not sure if Howard had worked at some other station before RNW. I think he had. Um, he came in and he was, he hadn't figured himself out yet, I guess is how I would describe it. He wanted to be on the radio, but I think he hadn't quite figured out yet that his true uh, brilliance would be a talk show like what he has developed uh, so successfully over all these years. So he came in as a DJ. I really didn't get to know him very well then. What did happen when Joe and I left that station, because a new owner came in there and he wanted to kind of clean up what we were playing, we were too wild for him, the new owner. He wanted all records to sound like Steely Dan and Fleetwood Mac, and when he heard some of the stuff we were playing, he's like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> This was too wild for this new owner. So they ousted us there, and that's when I went right from there to NEWFM. It was really fine with me. But Howard uh, was asked to take over as program director. And I honestly think that, uh, strange as it sounds, I honestly think Howard was asked to take over as PD because then, again, he, I just don't think he'd figured himself out yet. He just wanted to have a job and stay someplace for a while so he could figure it out. Who am I going to be on the radio? So they figured he would do what they told him because he wanted the gig. And uh, th that worked for him for that short chapter, you know. But that's, that's really how I see that that kind of went down, even though Howard will sometimes tell a different story. And Howard sometimes can exaggerate things and take them out of context because it makes for good radio. Um, uh, he, if you ever had the chance to speak with him about it, he might tell that story differently, I'm not sure. But really what I saw was in those days, believe it or not, Howard was still uh, willing to be a kind of yes man. Not what he morphed into at all. And I have nothing but respect for him. I think the show is hilarious and I listen all the time. But we were all figuring ourselves out back then, including him. So he stayed there for a while until he couldn't take it anymore either. At K-Rock, he started to have me on his show a lot. Um, if he would get into his last hour and some big star that was scheduled didn't show up or if he just wanted to fill some time or whatever, I would be in some other room. I would hear what was going on and all of a sudden I'd hear him say to Gary, go find Meg, get her in here. Or maybe he's talking about something of my radio past or some punk rock idol that I love. It's something that he could bring me in and put me in the hot seat in his studio and kind of make fun of me for. All sort of in a playful way. Uh, but Howard also is a master of, and enjoyed back then uh, anyway, uh, pushing buttons. He likes to find your weak spot and push buttons and get you set off. And Because you got to figure on the other end, it's fun for people to listen to. People will listen to a fight on the radio. <laughs> it's like, he's no dope. So uh, we had many, many visits like that. Uh, and a lot of them, as angry as they would get, would always end with what I perceive as affection. We would laugh once the mics would go off and he'd leave the studio because then I would really be beginning my show. Sometimes I'd fight with Robin. P listeners would always phone in and go, I love this. I love it when you guys fight, you know. And, um, and other times we would have uh, times that weren't so much an argument. Just He'd just have me in for the last... 45 minutes or whatever. Sometimes if he had another guest in there, he would have me in because he'd think maybe it would be interesting to have Meg and Bob Guccione Jr. in the studio because Guccione Jr. at that time was publishing Spin Magazine and Howard knew was a magazine I liked and he'd get you in there really talking about something passionately and then find a way to make fun of you for your passion because it's, it's his MO, you know, um, and it's funny.